Welcome back to another episode of Built or Bought. Today we have the Coenseg 1 to 1, a $2 million supercar that has more than 1,300 horsepower to the rear wheels, which is, well, it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. But this thing is the definition of performance. Let's see if we can build a car faster than it for a tenth of the price, which means we get $200,000 to build a car faster than the Coenseg 1 to 1. Well, let's go ahead and test it first. So we know what we're dealing with and uh, start crying after that because, oh God, it's going to be hard. Whew. All right, quarter mile on the Cohen seg one to one. Let's see how this goes. Oh my God, it's so bad. Uh, I mean, well, okay, I shouldn't say it's so bad. It's so fast, but it's got too much power. For a real drive car, it, it doesn't work. Ah! Uh! That's what happens when you don't pay attention <laughs> in our texting. 8.775, okay. That's not awful. All right, let's, let's try to make that a little better. Oh, hello, person. And 8.8, .8, no. I'm gunning it a little bit too hard, too hard, yeah, yeah, too hard on the launch. Like 1300 horsepower to the rear wheels is just suicide. That was better though. That was definitely better. 8.742. I think that's our fastest time yet. It's like, why they didn't make it all wheel drive, I don't know. Maybe to save weight or something. But, um. There's no such thing as not losing traction on the launch. 8.742 again. Alright. Looks like that's a consistent, consistent best time. Um, and I think that was our last try. We only got five. Yep, that was our last try. So. 8.742 it is. Let's see what it does on the mile. Mile long drag race in the Cohen side. Um, let's see how this goes. I think this is going to be a little bit better. Because this car... Oh. Well, my shifting might need to be a little better too. But this thing is a rocket. Already 200 miles per hour. And we just passed the halfway mark. Oh my god. This is like a 20 second car in the mile. What the fuck? Frick, 21 seconds. It was almost under 20, that is insane. All right, so we have $200,000 to buy a C or lower class car and make it fast. Um, wow, this is, uh, this is gonna be interesting. Now I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go muscle, but maybe even all wheel drive muscle. I, I don't know. Um, because the all-wheel drive will definitely help us in the launch, but I mean, this is like, this is hard. Eight second quarter mile is fast. It's very fast. Ooh, this is very tempting right here. 1995 BMW 850S or CSI. Ooh, Buick Regal. We all know this things, these things are fast. This is tempting. This is very tempting. An RX-7. I just, I don't think we can get the traction out of that thing. But you know what? <sighs> I'm just, I had to, I had to do this car. The Buick Regal. It looks awesome, it's a muscle car, and we should be able to put some massive amount of power into it. I mean, that, that Buick looks pretty sick too, but um, I think the only problem is it's quite heavy. In fact, ooh. No, all the other uh, muscle cars are heavy too, so. Buick Regal it is. So the first thing we're gonna do is get rid of the engine, because I'm sure it's quite crap. Actually, it's making 300 horsepower, it's not bad. Uh, but we can put an LS1 in there, a seven liter Hemi, or a NASCAR engine. Ooh, uh, mm. Here's here's my, my my debate here that the seven liter Hemi is gonna probably be more power, um, more torque, but it weighs more. Um, weighs like two hundred pounds more. I think actually I'm gonna do it. Um, oof. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. We'll we'll see what happens, and I can also put some twin turbos on there. So. It should be making a load of power. I'm gonna keep it rear-wheel drive for now. I might make it all-wheel drive though. Depends how much power we have after we're all said, all said, all is said and done here. Um, oh, I need to keep track of this shit too. Yep, 
You know, the 7 liter Hemi kind of disappoints me sometimes, because maxed out, it's only making 765 horsepower. Like, yeah, it's a lot, and it's making a good amount of torque, but I don't think it's enough to beat a cone seg. So let's just, let's, I'm gonna fully upgrade everything here. I'm gonna, you know, lower it. I'm going to get brakes on here, because they weigh less. That's the only reason. Um, weight reduction all the way, definitely. Now, I never know if I should do the roll cage or not, because it makes the chassis stiffer, but like it weighs 100 pounds. I'm going to do it because I think that's it's more worth it to have a stiff chassis than weigh a little bit less, you know, but I'm, I'm not positive. You guys can help me there. Roll bars. Yes, 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 yes. And then now uh, drivetrain, we want to fully upgrade this as well. So. All right, we have $50,000 left. Um, rear tire width all the way. I'm keeping the front tires. Oh, it really depends what we want to do here. Um, I think I'm going to make this car all-wheel drive. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Um, so I'm going to make the front tires as big as possible as well, and then put some drag slicks on there, leaving us with, with $30,000 left. Okay, we've got $30,000 left, and with that, I'm going to... All wheel drive. They're, they both weigh less. I'm thinking that. I'm like, no, actually, I'm liking that more. Yep. Fiberglass. Seven pounds lighter. There we go, boys. Speaking about lightness, um, considering the Cohen Seg has literally carbon fiber wheels, I'm going to put some T37s on because those are lights. Or really anything down here are light, but T37s actually good. Look good. On, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, look good on muscle cars. So, T37s, I choose. Um, I'm going to do one run with this engine um, and see if it's even close. If it's not close, then I'm going to immediately switch out and put the NASCAR engine. So, because we only have five tries with this. Remember, five tries and the Cohen Seg wins. So, tint the windows, make the wheels carbon fiber. It's the huge stuff to make it like a little bit cooler. Um, make, make the hood carbon fiber too. It doesn't actually do anything, but I can believe. I can hope, you know. All right, quarter mile in the Buick with the seven liter Hemi. It's fast. It's, this is when it starts feeling heavy though. Yep, 9.2. It's not gonna do it with this seven liter Hemi. It's just, it doesn't have enough power. It's, it's sad, because it, it gets off the line so well. The 700 horsepower doesn't feel quick enough once you get traction and start going kind of thing. All right, NASCAR engine it is. So, yes. And now now the car is making 900 horsepower, or 1,000 horsepower and 700 foot-pounds of torque. So it's making the same amount of torque, except it weighs less and it has more power. So, yeah. I know the NASCAR engine is boring though, so that's why I didn't really want to do it, but we gave the Hemi a try. Okay, so we have four tries to beat. Oh yeah, I just feel so much faster. And it's because it is. Can? Yes! Boom! I guess the NASCAR engine is just the way to go, because. We beat it! We beat the Cohen Seg one to one! The Cohen Seg got a time of 8.752, and that was in like the 8.4s or something. Boom, 8.542, 0. 0.2 seconds faster than the cone seg. Last run, or maybe not, I don't know, actually I think I get one more after this. Eight point four oh nine. nice, nice, this car is fast, damn fast. I feel like I'm kind of destroying this car because it's an all wheel drive, it's like such a disgrace, but whatever. Boom, 8.475, nice. All right, well, 
Guys, <laughs> the Buick won. Okay, so now the two question is, can the Regal beat the Konesag in the mile? And I'm thinking no. I Because this one, it, it, the um, launch doesn't really matter in the mile. It matters how much horsepower you have. And this car does not have as much as the Konesag. But who knows? It is still pretty quick. Oh, oh. I know nope, it's not going to do it. Oh, wait. No, 21.8. That's not as that's not as fast. That's not as fast. Um, wow. Let's let's try it again. I was 0.3 seconds off. No, no, 0.5 seconds off. It's half se half second slower than the um, coincide. I mean, it's fast. It's just it's not coincide fast. It doesn't have the power, and it's not rear-wheel drive. Yeah, 21.8 again. Oof. So the ending on this one is it's a it's a tough decision because the Regal is faster than the quarter mile by a pr pretty good amount. Um, however, it's slower in the mile by a pretty good amount. The Cohen seg just can't launch, um, which is why it's not as good in the quarter mile. But it's got so much power that in the mile it dominates. So technically, we we failed. We could not make this Buick Regal beat the Koenseg in both the quarter mile and the mile. It's it's really, really about personal preference this time. If you think that the quarter mile determines the quickness of a car more than a mile, then the Regal won. And if you think it's the other way around, then the Koenseg won. Um, however, I think we did manage to still make a pretty dang fast car for one tenth of the price of the Koenseg. So, if you enjoyed, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat. And I'll see you guys next time. Boom. Next time on Built or Bought. The Pagani Huayra. Versus... Who knows? Stay tuned for that episode.